Monique Slaughter's son Cam thinks he's the man of the house. Come on, Jet. You said what's yours is mine, so. Like, sir. Kendall X, no, I don't want a daughter. When I was pregnant with Cameron, ready for story time? No. When mama was pregnant with Cameron, I'm mama. What's up, Jit? Every time I was out in public and I passed by anything baby related that was for a girl, I would say out loud, Lord, you know I'm pregnant. Please let this be a boy. Amen. And if I was out with my mom, she would finally, she, one day she finally got fed up. She said, I said, Lord, I'm pregnant. And before I could say my prayer, she said, you don't think he knows that already? Horrible. Terrible. Do I want a husband? Well, I want whatever God has in his will for me. If that's a husband, I want a husband. If that is, I end up single for the rest of my life, would I be very saddened to not have a forever person to share every moment good and bad with yeah i would but eventually i would get over it and i would continue to live life why didn't you want a girl i think i might have missed why you said i didn't say here's why i didn't want a girl i didn't and still don't want a girl because I have a fear of not being able to emotionally connect to a daughter. My relationship was so up and down with my mom growing up. And for a really long time, I carried a lot of resentment. So I didn't want to not know how. And I'm really close with my dad. But sometimes I know that that makes my mom feel like neglected and when me and my mom are at at odds my dad cuts me off like he won't he won't talk to me so i don't want to be in a position i never wanted to be in a position where like in other words my dad did great with me and my sister my mom did great with me and my sister i'm not saying anything bad about my mom i'm just saying that we were so up and down and i don't really receive her teachings well but I'm always able to receive my dad. Just his approach seemed to have worked better for myself and my siblings growing up. So I just also know that even now as an adult, if my mom is displeased with something I've said or done, my dad, that trickles down to my dad and he stops talking to me. He doesn't like, he won't come by and visit Cam if me and my mom are at odds. I can't call him to help me if me and my mom are at odds with Cam. And so with a girl, I just feel like there's a lot more emotional, there's a different emotional need that with my own deficits, I didn't feel I would be able to like, I don't even think, I, I feel really that like, even with my own emotional deficits, I didn't think that I would even, des I wouldn't, I think I'd be so overwhelmed and so disappointed that I had a girl that I wouldn't even really, have a desire to like sort through my own childhood and emotional traumas. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I just felt like with a girl, I would have done her way more emotional damage. I would have checked out because I would have been afraid. So not only did I want a boy, I needed a boy. Is your dad calling you here? Oh no, you're on the phone. So your relation, so you fear the relationship you have with your mom or had with your mom, that'll be like with your daughter. Kind of. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? And are you the oldest? I have four siblings. I am the oldest. Be sure to like, comment, 
and subscribe. I went home in my bed. Cameron, you are losing your mind. Call your dad and see where he is, please. Huh? FaceTime, your, call your dad and see where he is. No, don't hit my wig head anymore. I said no. Cameron, I said no. Okay, learn how to obey the first time. Are any of your siblings in show business? My sister is an EP for one of the biggest news channels here. And... The rest of my siblings are not in show business. I'm going to have a really hard time when Stink gets a girlfriend because, first of all, Cameron thinks he's my man. He thinks he runs me. Because I do. You hear him? He thinks he can tell me what to do. He thinks he's my man. Come here, I runs you. I runs you. I got muscle. I'm not even flexing. He really thinks he's my man. He thinks he he runs me. He thinks he can tell me what to do. He thinks he can tell me. Hey, mom, he mom. doesn't want to share me with anybody. Hey, mom, look. My, it's my mom. Mom, no, look. Oh, snap. Look at those muscles. I ought to be afraid. <laughs> Let me see. I want to see my muscles because... Uh, no, no, no. I think I've seen him through here. Yeah. Ready? I want to see. I am going to kill her. I told Cameron, Cameron, what are you supposed to say to the girls when they try to get up on you? Now he wants to pretend like he doesn't remember. I gave him a script, and it is. Get away from me. That's your first line of your script, remember? Get away from me. I'm not married to you. Well, what did I tell you to tell him? Get away from me. I'm too young to date. I can't ever marry you because my mom's going to kill you. That's what he's supposed to say. Yeah, but if she's disrespectful or if she hurts him. Or if she tries to, like, trap him. I'm going to push her down the stairs or I'm going to invite her over for dinner and accidentally slip and fall and stab her with a fork. You know. No, I'm not seeing. I missed the comments. Somebody said, Lord. <laughs> That's my only baby. Uh, the These little better not come knocking on my door. Thanks for tuning in to New Born Arrival.